and welcome to this week's edition of International Wrestling. There are many wrestlers in the world today who have a great deal of charisma. You're looking at one who has that. He has class as well. Of course, we're talking about none other than the great Ricky Martel. He's in action with International Wrestling this week on his trail. With a lot of fury and 290 pounds to back it up, Steve Strong from Los Angeles. He's chasing Ricky Martel, the great Samu. Large, destructive, and dynamic. Again, you'll see him this week with International Wrestling. Big news coming to you, wrestling fans, concerning the Long Riders. Stay with us. It's upcoming. very familiar with that being of course your son and the blue tights outside the ring while his partner ron richie starts in there with frenchie martin richie moving very very quickly and every time out you know i have to say i think i'm even more impressed with the capabilities of ron richie i think you know that he and gino jr could form a pretty dynamic young team i think so he's a wrestler's wrestler this ron richie has nice moves good balance and leverage look at the way he moves against a, vet, a veteran like frenchie martin and, and the guy is well put together. That's what I like about it. Well, he was showing a very, very good strength at that point until Frenchie Martin went to the hair. And you have to give it to Frenchie Martin. He is a wily and capable veteran. Knows all the tricks and probably even invented a couple. Well, there he came up with, with a knee. Probably, you know, didn't hurt as much as it should have because Ron Richie seen it coming. But still, just enough to take over and beat up on Richie. Well, that punch to the midsection has to hurt Ron Richie, who's now whipped off the rope. Well, it looked to me like Frenchie Martin was going for a phenomenal stretch, but a reverse on his sunset slip, or no, I should say a roll-up by Ron Richie. Nice scoop by Richie and a slam. Frenchie Martin down heavily, tanking off to the magnificent one. Richard Charlotte, arm dragged across the ring by Ron Richie. Into the corner now, the tag made. Here's Gino Brito Jr. Charlotte whipped off the rope. Then a ooh, double hook, I guess, to the inside of the thigh. That's right. I mean, uh, I've, I've rarely seen that. I gotta ask Junior. You know, what brought that on? Let's yep. see what Junior's going to do against Charlotte. It's not the first time that they meet these two. That's true. And there was a Junior had a good arm bar. It was reversed by Charlotte. Headlock taken by Gino Jr. Whipped off the rope. Over top of Charlotte. What the heck? Charlotte. Whoop. Taken in the corner. That attempted backdrop about a mile and a half away. Junior over very quickly. Went behind. Took him into his own corner. I thought Richie was going to tag and come in there, Gino. Yeah. I thought so, too. Good shoulder block now by Charlotte, putting Gino Jr. on the canvas over top of Brito. And a nice leapfrog by Charlotte, but Jr. over very quickly. Okay, Mills. That was nice right. move. We're in. We're nice move, but no, I can't wait any longer. Tag Give me the action. scoop. Tag team action What's brings us tag team news. Right. Folks, you're well aware of the fact that the last number of weeks we have been telling you that the Long Riders, Scott Hog Irwin and Wild Bill, had been given an ultimatum to put the championship belt on the line by a certain date or the belt would be lifted. Folks, in a way, I suppose that's good news. 
the date has come, the date has gone. The International Wrestling Championship Committee has decreed the Long Riders are no longer the International Tag Team Champs. Currently, we do not have tag team champions. The belts have been held up. And as Richard the Magnificent Charlotte re-enters the ring, we'll give you more news about that. The key thing, the Long Riders no longer International Tag Team Champions. Sorry, Ned Luck. That was the news, wasn't it, Gino? That was what I wanted to hear, and I'm sure the fans wanted to hear that, too. Well, we know that the Long Riders are certainly in the hunt. I mean, they're better than in the hunt for the championship. After all, even the Long Rider combination, even the Long Rider combination, the combination of Cowboy Bull Johnson and Wild Bill Irwin, who are still in the territory, are certainly a devastating combination that, and obviously have to be considered, I would think, you know, the favorites for that championship. Well, what's going what on now? Is, uh, double what, teaming Junior. Sergeant Charlotte both in the ring. Junior with the crutch oh. and double elbow to the throat. Yeah. Come on, Junior, get up there. What's the matter with the referee, Gino? I don't understand how he could have allowed that. Gino Brito Jr. suplex now and that was a good suplex by Very Martin. good suplex. That's a legitimate move, I must say. Well, the cover by Martin. He hooked the legs, but Gino Brito Jr. kicks out from underneath. I wonder where we learned to dig down deep for that. Thumb to the throat. Brito Jr. now taken to the corner. Head rammed into the boot of Dick Charlotte. Up there on that top corner turnbuckle. Frenchy Martin tags off the Charlotte. Charlotte in a double punch to the midsection. And Martin lays the forearm in across twice now. Across the kidney area of Gino Brito Jr. Snap there by Charlotte Jr. over in the center of the ring. Down on the canvas. Charlotte's not moving like, like you're used to seeing Gino. He, he's generally the whirling dervish. In yes, usually he dictates the, the pace. Maybe being tagged up with Martin. Martin, the old pro that takes his time, calculates everything. Well, Oh, no, good. Went for the atomic drop, miss. Junior now, Martin up in the air, atomic drop down heavily. But he's on Wadley Street, you know, and I'm talking about Junior because he did take punishment in there. But he tour. tagged out, that's the yes, main he thing. he did. And a very impressive, relative newcomer here to international wrestling, Ron Ritchie, with a very, very good move. After having what Frenchie Martin off the ropes, came across unique kind of a... Uh, judo chopper, or now a double one to the top of Martin's head. Here's Charlotte. Oh, welcome to the ring and introducing yourself to Ron Ritchie. Charlotte, now a reverse atomic drop down to the canvas. Ritchie was just. We got out. four men in the ring now, Mills. Yeah. Both and Sullivan in there. Charlotte, Whoa. holy cow, would he go up high? What a backdrop by Ron Ritchie. And now, Ritchie has Charlotte in the corner. Brito Jr. has oh. Ritchie Martin, but they each got thrown off. And Gino Brito Jr. down heavily on the canvas. Ron Ritchie taking punishment now by Ritchie Martin as Gino Brito Jr. has passed us through the ropes by Big J Charlotte. Ron Ritchie now double whipped across the ring. Underneath the attempt, a double clothesline, and a double drop kick by Ron Ritchie. Might be a pin year. Rolling Two pin. Moves. Yes! Yes, Ron Ritchie with that rolling pin. Grabbed the leg, slipped over, top. You saw it, folks. The count of three went in, and that's all we got. You know, just that three count. I don't think that Frenchy Martin would have been down for longer than about another half a count. No, no, uh, Frenchy Martin was about to kick out, but fortunately for Richie and Vito Jr., the count was in. I think really that the element of surprise had something to do with it. I think that, that Martin was surprised. You're going to see it now, folks. Look how Richie ducks. Double drop kick. Charlon rolling out over to the other side of the ring. There it is, Richie over top. Just scored the count of three. Track of a victory for Ron Richie. Gino Brito Jr. will be back. <laughs>